righty guys, I got a bunch of cool stuff to show you today. We just got back from the auction, picking up all of this badass stuff. I've got uh, Lego Harry Potter here. We got for super cheap. Really good deal on that. We've got High School Musical for the Wii. Sing it. Really cool, really cool. A little money maker. We've got Super Mario 3D Land for the 3DS. It's a fun little game. I can't wait to bust it out and play it before it sells. We got Super Monkey Ball 3D. This one is super fun as well. If you guys have ever played any of these, you know that they are uh, cool little games. 70 crazy levels. Wow. We have Dirt 2 for the DS. More obscure title. Um, I don't see this one a lot, actually. Out game hunting. So, pretty cool. We have Zelda Spirit Tracks. It's a fan favorite for sure. Really happy to add this to the collection. I had a loose copy. Now I've got the, uh, the box and all. So, hell yeah. Next, we have Zelda, the Phantom Hourglass. I actually didn't have this in my collection. Uh, Laura did, but wanted to add it into the collection for myself. Picked it up. I don't think I'm going to resell this one. All right, moving on to that gold. We have the Mario Kart Super Circuit for the Game Boy Advance, complete in box. Um, it is used, but still in pretty good condition, guys. We have the Game Boy Advance set. Super sweet little setup here. It's going to be hard to part with this one, too. Came with the Game Boy Advance. Get out of the. Came with the Game Boy Advance here with the handy pack. Super interesting peripheral. It's got a light and a magnifier for the screen. Super dope. Now, on to some holy grails. We have Tetris Attack, complete inbox for the original Game Boy, super cool. This one is super Game Boy Game Pack compatible, means it has some custom borders and things that you can utilize, sick as fuck. We have uh, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, complete inbox for the advanced, and this one, this actually came with a demo of the uh, Four Sword Adventures. Another super cool game that was actually compatible with the uh, Four Swords for the GameCube. So, sick. Now, for the last two holy grails of the fucking auction, we have Metroid Zero Mission. Guys, this is a very obscure and rare title for the Game Boy Advance. This sucker right here sells for about 250 doll hairs. Really happy to have found that one. And then last but not least, we have Mega Man 4 for the Game Boy. Guys, this is a collector's holy grail. This sucker right here is worth about 1,200 gold doubloons. Really happy to have found it. I got a great deal on it in the auction. And uh, it's going to be really hard to decide if I'm parting with this one or not. This might be a keeper. 